Hello everybody, welcome back. It is me, your old pal Orpheus, with another edition of Orpheus Plays, and today we are back in the world of GTA Online. Yes, Los Santos needed a raccoon hero, and here I am. Da, da, da. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you're doing well wherever you are right now. Whether it's day or night, or you're in some digital world where the world is after you, and you're feeling all paranoid, and you, you probably need some medication. Anyway, <laughs> we are here today. I'm causing a little bit of uh, mayhem. Hopefully I can get into some. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, that guy just totally missed me. By the way, in case uh, you're wondering, some people might be trying to kill me because I have a bounty right now on me. <laughs> but I, it's actually a $9,000 bounty. I don't know what I did. I think I ticked off another player at some point. Uh, I think it was during uh, a stream that I did a little while ago. Oh boy. Anyway, so uh, that's going on. As I soar along on my, what we, you know, affectionately referred to as the douche cycle or the douche bike. Ooh, there's someone's, there's someone's command center. And this is why they call it a douche cycle. Let me see here. Can I get it? Nope, nope, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. I am so, like, rusty at the moment. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Do, do, do. Let's just go ahead and blow that up. Oops. Uh-oh. Now I've got the military pissed at me. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Raccoon in distress. Help. Anyway, yeah. So another day, another day. <laughs> oh, boy. So uh, I've been I've been progressing along here. I, I'm wondering... So one of the ideas I have for uh, an upcoming video... And I don't know if this is something that I'm going to do or not. I think it is. Um, I was thinking about doing like a 15 or 30 minute long like actual radio show. Obviously not with like full songs and music and stuff. I'd probably play about like, you know, 15, 20 seconds of a song and then come back out of it. But I was thinking of doing like an actual radio program that would be like, you know, something you guys could listen to. Because um, it's been... A you know, can we stop with the targeting the cops? I'm not trying to get in trouble. Um, so I, it's been a long time since I've done a radio show, and I think it might be fun for some of you to hear. I don't know, not like, because I'm the, pretty much the same personality as, okay, you know what? I'm going to turn off that so it doesn't keep ta uh, targeting. But it's not like uh, my online persona uh, is any real difference from my radio one, right? Which is no different than my my real life um i'm just someone who like I've, I've always just tried to be me on the air and i guess that's kind of the success like formula for a lot of things um if you're just you right you, like if you try to pretend to be somebody there's that old uh, phrase that says you can fool everybody some of the time and somebody all the time but you can't fool everybody all the time right <laughs> and so a lot of people can sniff out bullshit you know like I'm, what i'm saying like you've watched other personalities on youtube and stuff where um what am i doing i'm still looking for this van and i'm not even like looking for the van uh, i'm looking for the weapons van because i want my uh, rail gun but like people can sniff out bullshit a mile away and you know whether or not everyone's going to be able to tell like i said a lot of these uh, youtube personalities you can tell when they're being like totally fake like to the point where it's it's scary that they think that they're fooling everybody right okay where is this thing it's down here is it down here is it in here is this guy down below all right i gotta find where this guy is do, do i think he's down in this thing but you can tell when someone's when someone's not being themselves and it's you know sometimes it's, it's really really obvious like you can whether it's the, the tone of voice that they're using or it's um, the things that they talk about, they, I don't know. There always seems to be just like uber levels of fake going on uh, on YouTube and pretty much everywhere, right? Like one of the biggest problems that I think people have these days is people are just fake, right? They just, I don't know, people fake being you know, being happy, people fake being uh, friends with other people, people fake their, you know, their entire identities. And this is, eh, wow, okay. This is especially bad with, like, um, 
the internet, right? You get this certain level of anonymity, and believe me, years ago, um, the anonymity on the internet was like bulletproof, right? Like you could, you could basically do anything or say anything that you wanted because, um, you know, everyone was completely anonymous. Where is this frigging van? It's down below me, apparently. Huh, okay. Well, I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> Some of you are just screaming right now. It's right there! Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't know where it is. Oh, mate, no, I know where it is. It's down below. Whee! Sorry, bro. Um, but that, that fakeness, it's... Sometimes it's... Ah, God, I'm sorry. Sometimes it's it's hard to um, to deal with people who, who are like that. And, you know, again, with the internet being what it is, it's hard to be able to... Um, so what am I doing here? Can no I... Followed you, right? No. No one followed me. Can I can I shop now? Can I shop? There You're we smart, go. Right? You're gonna wanna see the new Some weapons. Baseball bat. Free. I'll take that. Carbine. Ooh, M16. Ooh. Um, this is a half a million, but it's fan. it's totally Guaranteed. worth it. Uh, all rounds for it. Uh, it's not I'll bad. Keep these in stock for you. Yeah, you keep that in stock for me, buddy. Let's get the platinum version, because nice. why not? Uh, what Hell else does he price, have? Huh? <laughs> Won't be I mean, uh, should I get this? Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna that hold is. off on that one. Although, man, it's an M16. <laughs> what else does he have? He's got Molotovs, grenades. I don't need those. Body armor. I mean, I don't have all of mine. This is cool that he, they've got this thing. You know what? Act now. That price ain't here for long. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I mean, why would you not, man? Extended clip. Put a grip on that mofo. That. I don't need anything else. Extended clip. That's fine. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. I don't know. That's why I try to be as real as I can, and that was the idea um, that I had behind doing the radio show thing. Because I, I kind of want to just, like, share with you how it used to be for me when I was on the air. Like, there's... Of course there's that smooth-talking radio thing where it's like, hey, you're coming up at the top of the hour, we got some more news and weather, and uh, we'll be taking a look at some of the national news going on. There is a development going on in the Middle East right now that we're going to keep track of, and we'll let you know about throughout the morning. You know, that kind of thing. That smooth voice kind of, you know, the guy that gets you through the morning. But then there was a lot of times when you just had time to talk, right? You had, I don't know, anywhere from like three to five minutes to just be able to say stuff, right? To just be able to, like, riff, right? And I've said this in one of my other episodes. I think it was uh, Radio Man, or Radio Man versus Game Crash. Um, the idea is that, um, what am I? I forgot what I was talking about. Um, with being, f oh, was it fake on the air? Oh boy. Oh no, being able to riff. Oh boy. See? <laughs> I eventually work it out. Yeah, traumatic brain injury. You can't stop me. Um, but a lot of a lot of DJs and a lot of uh, morning shows will use a service that they pay for. And this service... Hold on, let me see what this railgun is like. Where is this thing? Where is it? Where is it? Is it like a heavy weapon? It is. Oh, dear lord. I've had one of these in the, uh, in the other version, like the, the story mode version. Oh, nice. I'll have to get somewhere where I can mess with this. It's not so out in the open. I have a feeling I'm going to get killed soon. <laughs> but a lot of places use those um, their services where they, they kind of give you stuff to talk about. Like, you know, current events or pop culture or some of them even give jokes. Oh, my God, the jokes that some of them tell. It's not that they're like terrible jokes. That's no problem. It's stuff like when um, I'll do... Like, on the old shows, we used, we used them once in a while. The guy that I was co-hosting with, like, to, uh, he's like, oh, let's toss a few in from this service or whatever. He's like, this is a good joke. Okay. Well, like, we'd throw a few of those in, and then, like, on my way home or later on in the day or the next day, I'd be listening to a couple stations, um, and I'd hear the exact same joke, like, worded the exact same way. So, like, the main host of our show uh, would tell this joke, precisely how it was written and then you'd see other people doing the exact same thing and it's just like you know how many people are going to catch on to that right how many people are going to going to realize that it's not real and that's the thing like 
it's it's there's going to be people all the time that are going to be like, oh, that's that's not real, you know, like oh, I understand. Oh, I see what you did there. You used a service. Yeah, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay. Well, part of what I wanted to talk to talk about, like, okay, so with that radio show, it's a great idea. It it allows me to. Um, to kind of, I don't know, get back a little nostalgia of what's going on. But you had that cool radio voice. And then you had the the riffing part. And with the radio voice stuff, so what happens is you get to this uh, this point where it's kind of like autopilot, right? <laughs> you just kind of, you flip the, the, uh, the microphone on and you just start talking. And you, you go ahead and you, you know, oh, it's, you know... Uh, news and weather traffic and weather on the eights today we're going to be looking at uh partly cloudy skies with a high of 75 degrees uh up next we're going to be talking to one of the local leaders at the boys and girls club that's uh, shannon smith she'll be uh telling us all about this weekend's new festivities going on at the uh, local ren fair see i could keep doing that forever okay that's that's a dj thing that you kind of learn how to do and i it's totally mindless i like it just uh, just kind of pours out of my mouth but you can also tell when I'm doing that, it's a little bit fake, right? It's, it sounds a little bit, eh, you know, I, it's that radio thing that everyone can detect. But when I'm talking like this and it's just me kind of just talking to you, that's gone, right? That whole fakeness is gone. And that's really, it was another compliment that I got a lot that I'm just, I'm not different than I am on the air. And that's a hell of a compliment to get, by the way. Hold on, where is my new... Oh, yeah, baby. No, that's the heavy rifle. Oh, yeah, there's my M16. Let's see what it sounds like. Three shot burst? No auto. Fully auto. Does some good damage, though. Ooh. <laughs> trigger warning. <laughs> but why are you watching GTA then if you have issues with trigger warnings? Um, but, you know, people can sniff out that fakeness immediately. It's just. Something that everyone has a little bit of a, uh, a talent for is sussing out bullshit, you know? <laughs> and that's kind of... I don't know, I think that makes or breaks some content creators, too, because you've got some that, like, make the fakeness into their thing, right? And I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not, you know... There are ways to get famous on YouTube that, real quick, and, and one of them is to pick a fight with somebody that's real big. And I don't... I'm not going to do that, man. Let, let them do their thing. But some people have, like, their thing is being fake, right? Their thing is, like, the, you can tell that they're just goofing around and being an idiot. The problem is, though, when they want to get serious, right? When they want to talk to you about um, a charity that they're involved in or a hardship in their life or a challenge that they're facing or something like that, all of a sudden when they try to put on that serious face, a huge part of their audience goes, I, you know, I don't... That doesn't seem real like they have to put on an extra effort to make it look like you know there this is really a serious thing that we should be talking about i could be a douchebag here and blow these people up but i'm not going to because i'm not a dick at least not today i'm normally a dick in this game but i'm not going to do it. so you know it, it becomes harder for those content creators to uh oh did i just crash no i did not uh it becomes harder for those content creators to become serious because you get to the point where you, your whole thing was just being goofy, right? Hold on before I go in here. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> and into my penthouse. Yes, I've got the top floor here at the uh, casino. But, um, you know, it's some people make it their, their thing. And then there's other people that they're just genuine all the time right and it's a hundred percent real and a hundred percent raw and i think those channels are good too right they they have their purpose they they serve their thing but a lot of them are really down right so you you go to these there's just people screaming like crazy outside in, in this game wow <laughs> i'm trying to talk about mildly serious things there's people outside going ah! but so the ones that are always down, and, and they're the channels, not necessarily down, but they're always really serious, right? So you've got those positive affirmation people that are always like, and that's why you can be the most wonderful person that you could ever be, right? And, uh, you know, that's cool, right? But you're, it sometimes feels like you're pushing people into a certain mindset, right? I know people tune by sometimes to get happy or get sad or get moved emotionally or hear a wonderful story. 
And a lot of the times, a lot of these channels focus on doing just that. Just inspiring stories, just nothing but amazingness and positivity and oh, and that gets a little tiring. Because I know that not all of you are always so positive and happy and doing great, right? I know, what, what is going on? Um, okay, anyway, so I know a lot of you are, are, you know, sometimes you need that kind of, oh my god. Um, we're just gonna go back into the world now. <laughs> Something is clearly wrong, help. But, you know, I, I know that real people have lives that change. You have emotions that go up and down. You have, um, you know, great days and you have horrible days. And that's why I try to be the kind of... Why is everything so screwed up? The bottles are floating. This looks like Happy Wheels. <laughs> but, like, you know, people's moods fluctuate. You have great days. You have shitty days. And that's why I, I kind of try to create just content that can be fun and it can be entertaining. But at the same time, it can be deep and meaningful at times. You know, I, I, I'm someone that's schizoaffective, which means that I have... Okay, now I know something is wrong with the game. Wow change clothes what did everyone did someone come in and steal all my stuff what is going on including my tabletop oh boy someone snorted something so hard off of the table it got rid of it <laughs> oh my picture has gone there it is <laughs> I was gonna get extremely upset for a second <laughs> I have that outfit too by the way the disco outfit <laughs> um, but yeah it's um, some people, some people have bad days and great days and, and awesome days and terrible days. And I try to create stuff for everybody. You know, I try to be here for everybody. I try to give everyone... Uh-oh. I am stuck in my apartment. Well, <laughs> that'll give us a little uh, kind of natural cutoff for this one. But I guess the point is, being fake, you can pull it off sometimes. You can, you can definitely pull off being fake. You can definitely pull off um, being just about any... Hello? Hello? It's not even letting me sit down. What is going on here? Um, you can definitely pull off being almost any persona, almost any time. But the problem is, you're not going to be servicing yourself. You're not going to be looking at yourself and saying, you know, I am, I am who I am. Instead, you're going to be looking at yourself and saying, oh, I've, I'm other people all the time. Right? And, you know, this may seem like it's a little rambly, but when you think about it, right? When you think about it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There are people in your life who you know that when they go home and all the all the people leave and all the lights are out and they, they're sitting there in their bed and it's it's dark, right? And it's, it's late at night and they're trying to get to sleep and they know that they've been fake all day. You know, they know that they've been out there just shoveling garbage at people they care about, at people they love people they don't care about. You know, when I was a wedding DJ, I met thousands of people. Thousands and thousands of people. And every single one of them, I gave my warmest smile and my firmest, most comforting handshake. And yet at the same time, it was kind of like when I worked for Disney. And yes, I worked for Disney. That's a whole other video coming. Oh boy. Um, but you know, it's like when you work for Disney, you're professionally happy. You have to, you have to put on a smile, right? And so you can hear my voice right now. There's this big smile on my face. What is going, okay, game catching up. Wow, so you can tell from the way that I'm talking, there's a huge smile on my face and you can hear that in people as well. But you can also hear when that smile is fake, right? I'm putting on a fake smile right now, and it doesn't sound like I'm smiling because that joy isn't inside you when you're smiling, but you can tell right now, I'm smiling, I'm genuinely happy right now when I'm talking. And you kind of have to develop that. You have to be okay with it. You have to be okay to be happy, but you have to also be able to accept that you're gonna be sad sometimes. And that's why I'm here at Orpheus Plays to help you sometimes when you're feeling a little crappy, when you're feeling a little down and they still won't let me out of my apartment. But I'm also here when you're feeling awesome and you want to get some amazing things done in your life and you just need a little boost or a little extra inspiration. Anyway, that's been my little blurb here on Orpheus Plays today playing GTA Online. We'll see you next time.
Be good to yourself. You deserve it. Bye.